name is Zach Burrow. So over the weekend, I had some time to finish some projects, and I finished one that I think came out pretty cool, and I want to show you today. But it deals a lot with computer history. So let me first give you a little bit of background. You see my awesome black turtleneck? I bet you can name another famous computer guy who wore a turtleneck like this. That's right, Steve Jobs. So when Steve Jobs famously got fired from Apple, he left and started another company called Next. And Next built super high-end machines for the education, game development, and research and development markets. It's not the kind of computer you'd find at your grandma's house or your next door buddy's house. This thing was super high-end and a lot of famous projects used his hardware. One famous project was done by Tim Berners-Lee in a little research laboratory in Switzerland called CERN. He created on his next computer the first web browser and the first web server. So you pretty much owe your entire modern day web experience to Tim Berners-Lee and his next computer. Another cool guy, John Carmack. Uh, today he's famous for working with the Oculus Rift technology. It's a virtual reality or you could probably see it at the market in the next year or two. And he's also did Armadillo Aerospace. They build completely electronic, awesome little flying rockets. You know, all electronic control. But he originally made his name doing video games. He did a game I'm pretty sure you've heard of called Doom. Doom was entirely developed on his next computer. So these things have a lot of history. Not even to mention that Steve Jobs worked on them. It was done by Steve Jobs' company, and he had a lot of his influence. I'm a big Steve Jobs fan, so this computer is really awesome. So I was super excited. I was on Adafruit.com the other day, and I saw that Lemur and Adafruit had one of these old 1980s Next keyboards. And they're right now, they're pretty much useless. They just, they're incompatible with today's technology. They're just well-built, cool-looking paperweights. So what they were able to do, using the help of some Japanese keyboard enthusiasts, is to use an Arduino Micro and create a little board that you could plug your keyboard into and then plug USB into your computer. It would use the Arduino to let your next computer work. So, uh, or your next keyboard. And that's really awesome. So I built one and uh, then I needed to find a keyboard to test it out. So lucky for me, I found a guy um, who owned a company called Black Hole Computing. And since the late 80s, early 90s, he's been uh, selling Next computers when they were brand new. And you know, Next was bought by Apple in 1997, so they haven't been made in a long time. But he today is still selling them. He's refurbishing them and selling full Next computers. So he was able to help me out for about $40. I have an original 1980s Next keyboard. Um, super awesome condition. It's got this cool spiral cable. It's all mechanical keys. You really just don't see mechanical keys anymore on keyboards. It's an expensive way to do it, but they're super accurate. They're, they're fun to type on. Um, some high-end gaming keyboards have them, you'll see, but you know, computers at, a, at large don't really have these kind of cool mechanical keys anymore. So it's got the cool Next logo on the top here. Typical to Steve Jobs, it's a beautiful design, well-built piece of hardware, and I'm super excited. So it works super well with the converter, so well that this is now my, my current computer keyboard. I use this to do CAD, my tutorials, everything. It works awesome, and you get all that nostalgia from typing on one of these. You know, just like me typing on a computer when I was a child, that same mechanical feeling. So, I'm pretty excited, but the only thing I wanted to change was they put it in an Altoids 10, or kind of a prototyping 10, of uh, the converter. And that's a really good way of, of prototyping, but I wanted a little device that would sit on my desk and would work just like, um, you know, Next would have intended. You know, the same design style as Next, the same look, same logos, look like a Next product. So my solution, is this. I call it the next stick. Um, it's a 3D printed unibody enclosure. Unibody meaning it holds all the electronic boards um, inside with no fastening hardware. It's just tolerance very tightly. Um, it uses four screws just to kind of hold everything together. Two on one side, two on the other. Basically what you do is you plug your keyboard in one side, USB via a micro uh, USB connector on the other, and it works. I have a you know original Next logo I did in vinyl, and this is a 3D printed enclosure. I've now rubberized it. I rubberized it because a lot of uh, features on these Next keyboards are this awesome black rubber. 
So you've got a nice rubberized um, enclosure, complete with all the Next logos and you know done in the Next style design. And this Unibody is super cool because you can shake it, and this thing's like a brick. You can throw it. I can throw it in my laptop bag, no problem. I can take it anywhere to show off my cool keyboard. You know, not worrying about wires coming out. Everything's very well secured. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a small video about how it goes together and uh, kind of how I assemble this, this cool little uh, next doohickey here. about how this thing all goes together. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is something cool I can take different places. If you want to build your own, shoot me an email. I will be glad to send you some of the parts that I've made. Uh, check out Adafruit.com in the tutorial section and their learning center. A lot of cool tutorials and you will definitely find this one here. You can build your own converter, you know, around the $30, $40 range. And it was about another $40 for this awesome next keyboard. Uh, look for Black Hole Computing on Google, and uh, he should be able to hook you up. Told me he had a few of these sitting around still, so um, it's a super awesome project. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out uh, ZachBurhup.com for other updates and uh, crazy tutorials.